it is not too difficult to figure out why this uh, uh, problem in Waipa between Mudama, Senator Johnston Mudama, and Kalonzo Musioka has gotten personal. It is not too difficult to figure it out. For starters, uh, one of my readers actually brought it out very clearly, uh, and he put it this way. Have you ever attended one of those NASA rallies, and have you observed how uh, when Mudama stands up to speak, and when Kalonzo stands up to speak, the, difference react, the different reactions they receive from the crowds? It is clear that Mudama has become a national leader. He has been going on NASA campaigns countrywide. And he has built up a national profile for himself and is uh, popular. Now, my reader also pointed out the fact that uh, Mudama is a more exciting speaker, a more exciting candidate to the masses than Kalonzo is. Uh, Kalonzo has always been a laid-back politician, not very, uh, you know, is the sort of politi politician who does not have wild support as such. And, uh, well, some audience say it's kind of boring when you compare him to Mudama because Mudama is down to earth. He has had a very humble beginning and, you know, he speaks the language of the masses. While Kalonzo would have a problem uh, repeating or, or, you know, doing the same as Mudama would. Yeah? So in a contest, really, if it was a popularity contest, nationally, Mudama would win hands down. And this seems to be the crux of the problem because... When you couple that with the influence that uh, Senator Mudama has within NASA and also the fact that it's very close to uh, party uh, NASA uh, flag bearer Ray Odinga, then, you know, that, that is really an issue. And this came out very clearly before the NASA flag bearer was chosen because you'll remember even in the press, Kalonzo Musioka accused uh, Mudama of not supporting his presidential bid despite the fact that they come from the same uh, place, the same region, the same tribe, if I can be blunt. Yeah? Now, Mudama's argument was that uh, he was going out to support the person most likely to win the election, irrespective of tribe or irrespective of uh, whether they're the same tribe or not. And in his mind, that person was Raila Odinga. Yeah? So of, of already there, there was a lot of enmity and there's a lot of bad feeling between, between the two big uh, Ukambani politicians. Now, I have talked about crab mentality uh, before in a recording, and how it rules, it tends, it seems to rule the Akamba people. It is kind of, it's something which uh, hangs very heavily on the necks of the Akamba people, in that uh, they would not like to see one of their own go very far. And I also said this is one of the problems Governor Mto is facing, that despite the huge, huge developments he has brought in within Machakos, uh, a lot of people want to see his downfall, not because he has not performed, and not because uh, of anything else, except the fact that uh, he has outdone a lot of other people. And in this list I must include Mudama, uh, Senator Mudama, because Mudama has, won, has been one of the harsh, harshest critics of uh, Mutua. Now when we come to the Mudama uh, Kalonzo issue, it is very clear to see that Mudama now has become a national politician. It's not like before. And uh, Kalos, of course, is still a national politician. And now the two are like on the same level. So this is like a, a, a kind of tussle. It is like a kind of a personality war. It's like a tussle or a war for influence between the two. And uh, you see, that is why Mudama got so sensitive when his candidate was uh, supposedly rigged out of the Waipa nominations. So this has made Mudama very, very bitter. And this has become the point of contention. In fact, at the funeral of uh, Musila's uh, late mother, uh, Mudama dwelt a lot on that issue of uh, the Machakos nominations, which just went terrible, terribly wrong. Yeah, And clearly this is not something that will end tomorrow. Clearly this is something that now needs uh, NASA leader Raila Odinga to step in and call his house to order. It will not be easy because Mudama has been very close to Raila Odinga. He has been a very big support to Raila Odinga. I, I dare say much more than Kalonzo Musioka. And uh, this will not be easy. But I would expect to see a lot of uh, dramatic things happening within NASA concerning this war between the two of them. Because Mudama has positioned himself, first of all, he's not uh, defending his senatorial seat. So he has positioned himself for a kind of national position within NASA. 
And uh, of course, this position should be very high in case Raila Odinga wins the presidency. So you see, it is a very complex issue, extremely complicated. But also in my view, uh, the leadership uh, qualities of Kalonzo Musyoka now are actually out in the open, out in the daylight to be seen. And uh, certain moves he has been making in the background in secret, we might now have to blow out might now have to come out, be fully blown in the eyes of the public. Now, uh, this, the confirmation of this was uh, at the height of this back and forth between Senator Modama and Kalonzo Musyoka. Modama has been quoted as saying that he's actually going to reveal some things about Kalonzo Musyoka that are not very flattering. He's going to make them public. He actually made such a threat. So the big question uh, in the minds of most Kenyans is what are these things that uh, Modama wants to reveal about uh, Kalonzo Musyoka that are not flattering, yeah? But of course, uh, Club 99, 1999 members don't have that question because uh, this was actually revealed uh, to them quite some time back. And indeed, if you become a member, you will be able to get that information. But anyway, uh, for the rest of us, we'll have to wait and see how this thing develops. Wait and see how, uh, whether Mudama will uh, stand true to his threat and actually reveal those things which are not flattering. But just to sum up, I believe that uh, when you do things in your life, when you make certain moves that may not be right, uh, sooner or later things catch up with you. And uh, uh, they can catch up with you in a very bad way, in a very revealing way, and in a way that uh, can make your character very clear to all and sundry. Yeah? The things you try to hide can come out in the open. And I believe this is what's happening, unfortunately, to Kalonzo Musioka. This is Chris Kumakucha. Thank you for giving me your time.